that he struck well. And they have two kicking options, of course, with Jamie Shilcock, another they could turn to, but Billy Searle nudges Worcester into the lead. Although slow, Wasps being patient, perhaps something that they weren't as effective at when they were taking on Quinns. Couple of occasions, double movement, short of the line, cost them opportunities inside the Quinns 22. Just short and over. Try is scored. Tackle and then reaches and scores, number eight, try. Once you're in 2-3 metres of the line nowadays, this is what's coming. Really good structure, good pick and go, B yellow on the latch, and, uh, and Brad Shields just grafting that extra half metre and getting there. Third try of the season for Brad Shields. Two from two. Among it. Three from three, striking the ball beautifully from the kicking tee this afternoon. Points are added by Billy Searle. Worcester up to six in the game. Wasps still lead, though, by seven. I think from Lee Blackett's comments pre-game, you know, they, uh, they highlighted, I think, the last six games. In the 77th minute, they were winning all six and they lost four of those games. They, they don't want a scenario today where the opposition are within seven points. And hold. Taken by Ted Hill, moved quickly to a net. And Venter goes again. Venter sprints through, offloads into the hands of Sam Lewis, who crashes over. And Worcester with a deserved try. Sam Lewis, the scorer. And Worcester very much back into this. Beautiful feet from Benson, there really is. So has got the length. And he's got the accuracy as well. We are all square, 16 points apiece. So remains with a 100% kicking record this afternoon. Worcester for the second time into the lead. Collected by Ollie Lawrence. Set into the path of Ted Hill, who's having an ever more prominent role in this game as it continues. Go back! Go back! 18! Ho ha! Well weighted kick, Atkinson collects it. At the same time, he's picking the ball with his own feet. Taylor, that ball has gone very, very loose. I'm going to time off your scrum, what's ball? I suggest this doesn't look very good for Morris. He's always surprised, it's dangerous, it's out of control. He's been sent off. Six, please. Great tempo. Very clearly dealt with by Ian Tempest and. Whilst very hard to, to disagree with all of the, the arguments proposed there. As Gascon rises to collect that one. Under 15 minutes to go. Tommy Taylor has the ball. They are up to the line and over for the try. Perfectly controlled and perfectly executed, and it's Tommy Taylor who goes over for his second of the season. And Wasps, superb structure around this ball here. It was too easy for them. They were, they were all in the right spots, and, and sure enough, over it went. Taylor picks out Rylands. They go further infield, and Taylor now has control of that ball. The penalty has come. And that will be a card. We are all square at 14 apiece. Dan Robson thinking about going quickly. Sam Lewis, Worcester's try scorer, the man trotting off. So both sides will finish with 14 on the field of play as things currently stand. The clock gets ever closer to going red. Wasps will pick up the penalty. Dan Robson will glance at the board and see that the clock is now going to go red. Dan Robson says, watch out. And 
sends the ball up into the stands. The final whistle is sounded, and in spite of a far more committed, composed, tighter, more disciplined and better second half performance, in the end, Worcester have come up just short. Final score then from the Rico. Wasps 23, Worcester 19.